the one in that direction. But as you know, I don't have to fight Atlas. Because I'm continuing on to have a second shot at Bazuzo, the evil puppy. Purple, bad boom. I have a tiny bit more magic points, so I shouldn't be in that bad a condition. But still, just in case, I used all my medical herbs getting here. Here we go, round two. And if he doesn't get lucky and cast defeat right off the bat, I might have a chance. So increase for fun. And if I can get lucky with a chance, that would be wonderful. Well, that's a pretty good start, decreasing his attack power. And actually exploded is the one thing I actually do want him to do. So more defense always helps. It doesn't cost that much. But it doesn't always work. Listen to I. And that's not the other thing you don't want to have it. Pet Sue deciding he's having a bad day and just dodges everything you throw at him. Or him deciding that heal all is the better option. Jerk. I could take another chance. I might take another chance. The Sorcerer's Call. Wait a minute. It worked on a boss? Yep. And now I don't have to deal with him anymore. As long as I don't reset my game. So, Bazooza, goodbye. You will not be missed. Harkin is so gonna demote him for that. Running away from the sorcerer. But here comes our third and final boss. Before we meet the big man himself. Can you guess who he is? I bet you know. And he's not nice. So I better make sure I'm at foolish hit points before trying to take him on. It's Zarlox! Oh my! Of course, with Bazoo and I. At least 250 hit points. And he attacks twice. And he has nasty flames. And he can cast heal all. Hope he cast explode it. He can cast increase as well. But I shall increase my speed. So I have a chance against him. Well, it's a start. It might end up being a battle of attrition. May end up me mean discreetful, if you will. Oh yeah, remember, parry reduces the damage you take from spells. Hmm, I remember his breath being much worse than that. So he can blow flames all he wants. And if he's not attacking, then too bad. Too bad, so sad. Let's just hope he didn't take a hint. He took a hint and decided to heal everything. I is lead depressed now. And doing a mere 36 damage will not suffice. Well, that didn't help as much as I hope it would, but battle continues. Zarlux's jerkiness versus Magma's Sword of Thunder. 
At this point, if you get a critical, raise your hands and dance. But through attrition, victory is mine. A whopping 220 experience points, by the way. Appropriate for a boss, of course. And that's the third and final boss before we meet the big man himself. Not to be confused with the Fatty Plus, but that's beside the point. But Magma, you're not nearly strong enough to take the final boss, are you? Nope. So let's step guard anyways. And have a nice friendly chat with Hargan. Maybe he will be a reasonable personish being. And stop this horrible war against us. Maybe he's a wimp. Maybe he's surrounded by flames. Hello. Who do you think? Uh. Yeah, we know who you are. Seriously? Here comes Hargon. By the way, if you said no, he would have said the same thing. So let's fight Hargon. Oh my. As he gets 250 hit points? Attacks twice, has some nasty spells. He can cast sleep. Like I said, nasty. Hope you can resist it. Hope you can resist banging your head against the wall. When he cast Explode. Seems to be going rather smoothly, doesn't it? By the way, he can cast Heal All, so hope he does it. And we might have this under wraps tonight. In this video. That would be pretty freaking awesome, would it not? I have defeated Hargon, yes, and peace was restored throughout the land. Or is it? Okay. Really? Oh dear. To meet Malroth. Wait a minute, I have his eyeball. I got your eye. So, this gives me a chance to heal at least. But why would I want to go want to go against Malroth? Would I really want to equip that sword of destruction? Hint, no. But seriously, where is this Malroth anyway? Am I just imagining things? Uh... Oh dear. It's the mighty Malroth! So mighty he goes through my text boxes! Malroth, the final boss. 250 hit points. That doesn't sound like very much. But he can do two, three nasty things. Very powerful flames. Make you faint if he hits you. And heal him. So once again, we're praying for critical hits and such. Defeat obviously will not work. Sacrifice will not work. Stop so I seriously, seriously doubt is gonna work. And chance you'd actually with my magic points I'm not gonna do it. There are those dangerous scorching flames I told you about.
And the more increases we can get, the better at this point. But did I mention, if he hit Illy for 40 on a parry, yeah, that's 80 hit points he could have hit with. It's a combination of attrition, luck, prayer, and pancakes. Pancakes. And crossing your fingers, he doesn't do his heal all. Or something worse. There's his heal all. Insert your favorite curse words here. Not enough for a chance. Just enough for one heal all. I'll wait off on that a little bit. As he continues to be a jerk and heal every single point of damage I put on him. Those scorching flames are getting scorchier. Can you say, oh dear? I know you can, but you may choose not to. Oh dear! Yep, that's right. If he hits you, he can make you fall asleep. That's horrible! Also, that's horrible! So I can say the biggest thing you can hope for is a critical hit. Sacrifice will not work. Spot spell was pointless because he doesn't cast spells. I can try Firebane, but it's not going to do any damage. And Nilly, with no chance to cast Explode it, can try a Staff of Thunder. Like, that's going to work. Nope, he's pretty magic resistant, I'll tell you that. So, attack spells at this point would be kind of silly. Also, Numor can't do much. You might get a lucky with a critical hit. Maybe do 30 damage. Yeah. Oh yeah, Dragon's Bane. That would have been useful earlier. Put on the delicious dragon spade. If I had one for magma. Make yourself more magic resistant. Wait a minute. Mountain doesn't use magic. Oh no! It might make you less likely to faint though. So it's worth a shot. And at this point, you are on a prayer. You are on limited hit points. You are wondering to yourself, why did you do such a stupid maneuver? And Magma has defeated the mighty Malroth. I didn't think I was going to win. And I have delivered the world from evil. Greater the rewards. And as kindness, Rubus restores us all to full health, life, magic. Could have used it during the battle, buddy. And Hargon's castle was destroyed. Hooray! And peace is restored throughout the land. Is it really that peaceful, though? Yeah, no enemies. Isn't that wonderful? So let us just go ahead and return and talk with some of our people. It'd be great to talk with some of our people. 
the people will be free again. Hooray! And you get ending dialogue from various people. And you're immune to barriers! So yes, peace has been restored throughout the land. Opening doors have been restored throughout the land. But the same type of people will say the same thing. We're great warriors. We're dragon warriors. There is only one dragon in the game, unless you count Malroth. I'd like to take a rest for a moment here, but no, peace is returned. And I can't go to the end because of it. I'd like to sell off all my weapons and be a millionaire, sir. Nope. But what did you expect? You expected to talk to more people. And while I could go around and talk to different types of people and see what they would say, let's return to the one place and see the epilogue. The one place where we started it all. Idenhall Castle. And the seas are calm once again. Just for fun, let's talk to this guy. I am a strong and noble. I am well done. And let's talk to our saber tooth kitty. I mean puppy. It's a lot friendlier. It just says bow wow wow. Instead of growling at me. And Hargon... No sir. He no longer exists. Nope. And everybody should be free. But no, we still have some guys in jail. I know it's shameful. And I could steal the armor of guy again, but that would kind of be jerkish. Oh yes, I should talk about some of the things we did not see. I didn't find any bullywogs. Are they called bullywogs? Bullwogs. The hardest enemy in the game. That is not a boss. 190 hit points. They look like Z uh, Zarlocks without the pitchfork. They're purplish. But they have a chance to drop a wizard's ring. Which would really help me. So the lottery isn't the only way to get that beautiful wizard's ring. By the way, 800 experience. But they're dangerous and can attack twice. And cast exploded. Lots of exploded. And I'm close enough to mine and hog castle here. So once again I'll say thank you for watching this let's play. Of a Dragon Warrior 2. For your NES. And nobody's manning their shops. That's horrible. What the heck? But no, they're having a parade for me. Hooray. Oh, really? I get to be the king. I don't want to be the king, though. I should go. <sighs> nope. Um, Princess of Moonbrook. I guess. I don't want to take the throne, but thou must. Yep, but thou must. And the kingdom shall be led into ruin by magma. Just kidding. And come forth, and we shall have a dance party.
And with this, peace has returned throughout the land. And we get a credit roll.